Hi guys, got a request from Tim to do a rubber band car that has three wheels. Well, I have done a few before, so there'll be a link in the video description to a playlist of my other three wheeled rubber band cars. In fact, I'll probably put a link up here somewhere as well. Um, but We'll have a go at doing another one. I've just been out to the garage to get this out of my recycling box. So a pop bottle. I'll cut a slot in it one end or the other so we can have one wheel at the front or the back and two wheels at the back or the front. Um, I'll use CDs for wheels because I always do, but you can cut discs out of cardboard. Um, what I will do is I'll take this one apart that I did a while back. Uh, I think I did it last year or the year before for Halloween. It's hands that go forwards, or they do when it's running the right way. Um, but yeah, that was in the garage as well, so I thought I'll take the, the CDs off there, if I can get them off. That will save me a bit of time. That's just um, ordinary CDs with plastic drink bottle caps or tops taped on, hole through the middle so it grips the bamboo cane, which we'll use as the axle. Uh, those particular bottle caps would have come from that sort of bottle. So I've got a couple of them. That will save me a bit of time. I need one more. I also need to get these bits of extra wire off. So we don't need them, we just want that bit. Uh, there is a link in the video description to a playlist on how to make CD wheels with plastic bottle caps. So check the video description. Right. I'll sit and have a think what I'm going to do with this. So with, with that part of it done already, I'll just need to drill a couple of holes through. I'll cut a hole in the top so we can actually get down to the axle to wrap the rubber band around it. And it's just a matter of which end do I want to have the wheel in the middle because we're going to have to cut a hole right through. Right, thinking this through as we go along, I found myself a couple more bottle caps. So this will be the, the single wheel. So I'll just use some tape to tape that in place. Put a hole through the middle. Same on the other side. If you use the markings on the wheel already on the CD, you should be able to get the bottle cap fairly central. You want it to be fairly central so it doesn't wobble around too much. Right, and the bottle, I'm going to use that center line or seam. I'm going to put a hole, or I would put a hole just there if that marker marked. Right, let's find one that works better. Right, try that again. Different pen. So the seam goes along there, and there's also a line going round there. So if we use that as a guide, I've got one there, seam, guide there, and on the back, same thing, seam, line, put hole there, seam, line, hole there. And then we also want to have a slot here for the wheel to go through. I'm just going to do that by eye because by the time we finish cutting it, it will be wider than that anyway. Yeah, something like that. slot. The 
before I cut the slots, I'm going to use my nail on a stick that I heat up in a flame and then use that to melt the holes through for the axles. So I'll go and do that. You can drill holes. I just find using a hot nail melts the plastic so it doesn't split so easily. Right, hole, hole, the axle to go through, another hole, and another hole for the front axle, hole, hole, and I'm going to cut that out so I've got a slot for the wheel to go through, an extra hole there because I want the rubber band to connect there to go down to the back wheels to wind that up and I'll also need to cut a fair size hole out here so we can actually reach inside and get to the axle. So slot, slot next. You need to keep your hands safe. So that's for our wheel to go through. Okay, and then we need a hole here to reach in. Might need to change the size of that. No, I think that might be all right. Okay. Stick that on there. You could super glue this in place, although super glue doesn't stick very well to plastic or this sort of plastic. Or you could use hot glue. I used to use hot glue all the time in all my builds and I used to get requests from people to do my builds without hot glue because they didn't have hot glue guns. So tape works just as well. In fact, when you use tape like this, if you get it slightly wrong, there's still a little bit of wiggle room there to try and line it up again. Need to push a hole through there. You have to judge that by eye, I think. You might be tempted to use just one bottle cap, but you need the one on the other side to stabilise it.
right, actually getting this in there is not going to be quite so easy. I need to be able to reach in and fiddle with it at the same time. actually work. I was thinking I might have to do more trimming but that might work. I don't know how straight we're gonna go. That's a different subject entirely. point on there and make it go through easier. Oh, that was a tight fit. Make sure we leave a bit of a gap. So that's our three wheel car. Need some rubber bands. Found them. I think two will be more than enough. So join your rubber bands together, push through the loop, and push the loop through the loop. There you go. I want it to go through there. This is going to be a little bit tight. Uh, all right, if you've got small hands, oh, actually, if I push it through that way first, get rid of that and push that one down through that other hole that I made. So I made two holes. So we got the loop and push that through the loop. All right, that's in place. Put it over the back axle, hold it in place and turn the axle so it holds itself in place and there we are. So the next question is how far will it go? You could put little spaces in there if you cut up a drinking straw, just a short piece that will keep the wheels from rubbing against the bodywork. Anyway, let's see how we do for running up and down the kitchen. Obviously you could trim these bits off. I like to leave them as long as possible because I want to reuse them for the next build. Got a little bit of a left turn on it. You could adjust that by 
changing the holes that you've drilled because if they're out of line then it makes the car turn one way or the other. Summary time, three wheel, rubber band powered car, CDs for the wheels, plastic bottle caps for the hubs, bamboo canes or barbecue skewers for the axles, a plastic pop bottle for the chassis, rubber bands, and I used a hot nail on a stick to melt the holes and a sharp knife to cut out the bigger holes. That's it. Job done.